Google Agent Development Kit. At its most basic level, agents provide flow control and reasoning, and they use tools to perform actions. Agent can invoke sub-agents, each specializing in a different area with its own set of tools. So, agent is a software component that has a name, access to a model, a description of its purpose, instruction on what it must do. It could have sub-agents and tools. Many of these properties are optional and are used as needed. Tool is essentially a function. It would usually be written by you or you may use a ready-to-use tool like Google Search. So what are the various agent types? LLM agents, workflow agents and custom agents all are derived from base agent. The simplest and probably the most commonly used is the LLM agent. If you want workflow like behavior, you would use a workflow agent. For absolute control, you would go for a custom agent. Let's learn about workflow agents. Sequential agents enforce the order of execution of sub-agents. Loop agent will loop over sub-agents for a specific number of iterations or until an exit condition is met. Parallel agents will run sub-agents in parallel. Let's see how the ADK runtime functions internally. At its heart is a runner which is an event processor. The execution logic is in agents and tools and the runner uses an event loop to execute them as required. Agent runtime has access to model, tools, session, events and artifacts. How are agents deployed? They can be built and packaged into a container and then deployed on Vertex AI Agent Engine which is a scalable infrastructure for running agents or Cloud Run, the serverless container execution platform. Of course, you could deploy it in a custom infrastructure of your choice too. How do you interact with agents? You could do it via CLI, Web UI, API Server or API. Let's do a quick code walkthrough of an agent application. Our application is a travel agent that uses two sub-agents, flight booking and hotel booking agent. They use flight booking and hotel booking tools to get their work done. Here's how our code is organized. We have a sub-agents and tools directories, an environment file and main agent python file. In the environment file, you will find the API key. Let's take a look at the sub-agents directory. Here you will find the flight booking and hotel booking agents and uh, under tools you will find flight booking and hotel booking tool python files. Now let's look at the main agent python file. We have the necessary imports and the root agent is declared here. It has a name, model that it will use, description agent to help with travel bookings and instruction. You are a helpful agent that can answer questions about travel delegate to flight booking agent to book flights delegate to hotel booking agent to book hotels and the list of sub agents it has access to okay let's look at the sub agents flight booking agent name of the agent model it can use description instruction you are a helpful agent that can book flights for travel using book flight tool Okay, ask for additional information if required and the name of the tool it could use. Hotel booking agent, again name, model it could use, description agent to book hotel for travel, instruction, you are a helpful agent that can book hotel for travel using book hotel tool, ask for additional information if required and tool it could use. Now the tools, flight booking tool, this is essentially a function. It takes in the required values, in this case departure city, destination city and so on and then returns a value. Here is where you would write your actual flight booking code etc. Okay, now go to hotel booking tool. Uh, here we can similarly see that this takes the parameters required to book a hotel and returns a value. Now to run the agent. We go to the terminal, type in edk web, 
and here we see it has given a URL for local testing okay which we open in a browser our first message is simply hello and we get a response hello how can I help you with your travel plans and on the left hand side if you click on a conversation you can visualize the agent execution I would like to book a flight fine let's see the response okay I can help you with that can you please provide departure city destination city number of passengers and the travel date all the right questions okay on the left hand side uh, you can again click on a conversation to visualize the execution flow etc notice that it was able to figure out the right questions to ask uh, by looking at your tool definition and so on okay I will be traveling from New York to San Francisco on 25th of May 2025 okay and how many passengers will there be just me And the response is okay I have booked a flight for you from New York to San Francisco on 25th of May now if you click on a conversation you will be able to see the agent execution and here you can see that the book flight tool was invoked right so that's on expected lines our next message I also need a hotel reservation notice that I have not provided any further details okay I can help you with that can you please provide the city start date end date and number of guests for the hotel reservation it figured out all the right questions to ask by looking at the hotel booking tool which it would need to invoke to complete the hotel booking so my response is in San Francisco from so and so date for two days and it's just me okay I have booked a hotel for you in San Francisco from May 25th to 27th 2025 and now if you look at the agent execution flow right you can see that the book hotel tool was indeed invoked so all of that on expected lines